What do your genes say about your athletic ability? Is there E. coli in the spinach? Are these GMO tomatoes? The technology capable of answering these questions has existed for 21 years. But with traditional instruments costing tens of thousands of dollars, they remain inaccessible to lesser-funded labs, students, makers and biohackers, and those living in areas of the world where they are needed most. My name is Josh Profetto, and I'm the founder of Chai Biotechnologies. We've created OpenQPCR, the world's first open-source, real-time PCR thermocycler, costing around the price of a 3D printer. Thus far, it's pretty hard to get equipment that's new at an affordable price point. And the more affordable equipment kind of fills out the tool chain that you need to do basic molecular biology. There is this kind of changing mindset about open source and sharing of ideas. People have across the board more interest in things like where their food comes from, what's in their food. To make low-cost diagnostics a reality for everyone, we have created a product that is as user-friendly as it is cost-effective. That's why we created a simple web interface that allows experiments to be visually designed and interprets the raw experimental data in a way end-users can easily understand. It's a first-rate research instrument, but it's also really easy to use, and it's really easy to take apart and build better software or different software or build different mechanical or um, electrical add-ons for it. The web interface can be accessed via Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or USB, and a provided touchscreen makes the device easy to use in the field. The machine works by targeting a specific DNA sequence within a sample. It precisely heats and cools the sample, and if the particular DNA sequence of interest is present, it gets copied during each heating and cooling cycle. You can imagine in this exponential growth process, one, two, three, four molecules, we can't really see the difference yet. But as soon as the exponential curve takes off, we can see them. We shine blue light at the sample, and if DNA is present, another molecule within the sample converts this blue light to green light. The green light then passes through an optical filter and hits a photo detector, allowing us to measure the amount of DNA present. You can also use it diagnostically. You could, for example, tell your PCR machine to make a million copies of that virus there. And if you end up with a pile of DNA, you can conclude, oh, there was a virus there. If you end up with nothing, you can conclude, oh, there was no virus there. So whether you're a dog breeder trying to select certain traits, or you're an epidemiologist tracking the spread of Ebola, OpenQPCR provides the data you need. PCR can also be customized for any target of interest. That's why we designed OpenQPCR to be a platform for further development. OpenQPCR seems to be one of the first instruments that's sort of saying, hey, it's valuable to talk to me digitally. Here's the API. We'll be releasing the complete CAD designs and software as open source because we're eager to see what innovators will do with it. So to be able to verify how the machine is getting the data is a huge deal. The science is all about verifying how you got the data. You, you can't really do science when your instrument is a black box and the company won't tell you how it works. This is a machine that is, from the, from the beginning, very open, so anyone can do anything they want with it. So it's an amazing opportunity for everybody, I think. People weren't thinking about it. They were thinking, okay, biotech is expensive, so if you want to build a biotech lab, people are going to have to pay hundreds to thousands of dollars per month, let alone the cost of reagents, the cost of keeping equipment up. Historically, the high price of real-time PCR is due to not only the cost of the hardware, but also the reagents needed to run it. That's why we developed our own low-cost PCR master mix. This mix includes a fluorescent dye, which we'll also be releasing as open source. We're also making available a biohacker kit, which includes a pipette, reagents, supplies, and a primer library to perform tests with your OpenQPCR right out of the box. I'm excited because I can't wait to see what all the DIY bio people in the world and other kind of interesting biohackers, scientists, people with strange edge cases, how they take this machine and add on to it. Over the past two years, we've built many prototypes to make the most affordable, accurate, and user-friendly machine possible. We need your help to manufacture the first batch and get OpenQPCR out into the world. We hope you'll join us, and with your backing, we can take real-time PCR to the next level.